what is going on ladies and gentlemen it is Corey or Autobot and I'm here today bringing you guys a brand new video playing some Black Ops 3 again and man the luck is not on my side at all both in real life and in Call of Duty I haven't really had a lot of luck clip wise but I am going to uh explain something to you guys um when I say luck I'm talking about like when it comes to phones because it's always near the end of my contract is when I always have issues with phones. Like, literally, like, the last couple months of my contract is when my phones start acting up or they, you know, they just completely stop working. And I had a gal... Actually, I'll run you through it. When my contract actually had to be, uh, had to be renewed in November of 2015, I believe. Yes, November of 2015 is when my phone had to be renewed. Now... I went and I had an S3. Now, before the, like two weeks before my contract was up, my phone, my S3, actually the screen stopped working on it. So I mean, you know, it's two weeks until my contract's due, and I only had like a five dollar balance remaining on my phone contract. So all I had to do is pay with the five dollars, and you know, it was all well and good. And I would, and I went and got my new phone. Now, when I got my new phone, I had gotten the Galaxy Grand Prime. My mom had actually had her contract come up the same, around the same time. It was like a few weeks after. So she went and got the same phone that I did. Because when she saw my phone, she actually really liked it. And, you know, so she went and got the same phone. However, she had some really, really bad luck. She actually dropped her phone a few days after she got it and actually shattered the screen. She had actually, um, broken her phone. And it was pretty, it was pretty bad. I'm not even going to lie. But, um, I had actually lucked out when I was working. I had, I'd used a Grand Prime for, my Grand Prime for about a year. And I actually had the opportunity to go and buy myself a, uh, a new phone. I mean, I didn't cancel my contract because, you know, my contract still needed like $115 left on or something like that. Which, you know, wasn't really plausible for me to go and get myself a new contract. I just went and bought, a. Uh, a phone. Actually, my neighbor was selling her Galaxy S4, which you know what? I jumped at that opportunity. It was only hundred bucks, so I bought it. Brand new, great shape, and I really enjoyed that phone. A few months ago, I made a video talking about this, and my phone actually fell off my desk here. And you guys know I, I'm in a basement, so the phone actually fell off the desk and landed face down on the cement floor. It didn't crack the screen. It just, the screen stopped working because of it. It cracked the LCG protector, the LCD protector on the inside, and it just, it, it fucked the phone. So, my dad had his old Nexus 5 because he switched to an iPhone, so I managed to get his Nexus 5. And my SIM card fit and everything like that, so that was perfect. I didn't really think anything of it. You know, I just, I got my dad's Nexus 5, and the other day, ne or Google actually released an update for the Nexus 5, which actually caused the phone to get into a loop whenever I go to turn it on. It pops up with the Google logo, and then the screen would shut off, and then the Google logo would pop again, and the screen would shut off, and it physically would not turn on. So I popped my SIM card back out, and went and went looking for my old Grand Prime. Now, the issue struck when I realized, because my mom had just, gotten her, had just gotten her iPhone here just a few months ago. And the issue that I had realized was that she was using my old Grand Prime, but she was using hers to charge it because she used, when she was using my Grand Prime, she put the charger into it and it actually pushed a charging port so far into the phone that it actually couldn't charge the phone. Like she screwed up the, char the charging port on the phone somehow. So you know, that's all well and good, right? So she was using her old phone and swapping the batteries back and forth. So when the, when the Nexus 5 stopped working, she actually, uh, well, I went and found that, and I was like, well, you know, my SIM card will fit in it, because it's the same as my old phone, and I haven't swap changed my SIM card since I got since I got it, so, you know, it's all well and good, right? So I'm using that for a phone right now, but, you know, since I've gotten it, I've had to pull a couple slivers of glass out of my out of my fingers, because my brother was a dumbass and took the screen protector off it that we had on it when, it, when he was using it, just as a little, you know, as music and stuff like this, because his, his, his iPad's headset, yeah, his iPad's charger went at one point, so when he got his new iPad, it actually wasn't the charging port than went this time it was actually the headset jack so she, he was actually using that uh grand prime as a as i guess you could say like a music player so he didn't really need the uh the screen protector on it so you know he sort of 
screwed me over there. But I mean, on the plus side, I only have like thirty dollars left to buy out my contract right now. So my mom's actually talking to my dad about it because I was actually because my mom and dad put me on their contract because when I initially went with uh, Virgin Mobile to get my phone, I was only sixteen years old, so I wasn't able to get my own contract. So my dad put me under his contract as a uh, as a secondary user. So you know, it, it's all well and good there. It it all works out and. But my dad's like, you know, I'm not renewing your phone when it comes time to upgrade because he said, you know, you're old enough and you can pay for your own phone, which I don't disagree with that right now. But with the fact that work has been, you know, work has been screwing me a lot. I worked a shift on the 5th of July and the 12th of July. And the way their pay periods work is I work, you know, I work two weeks and, you know, the pay periods work out. So it starts, the new pay period starts on a Sunday and then it ends on a Saturday and then ne that next Sunday is when the pay period starts. But basically, the long and the short is at the end of the pay period is when I receive the paycheck for the previous pay period. So pay period A is two weeks and B is two weeks. At the end of pay period B is when I get paid for pay period A, if that makes any sense, because I get paid every two weeks. So that's how it works. Anyway, so I worked, you know, the two shifts. I worked the 5th and the 12th of July, and then I went and did another shift on the 19th. So the 5th and the 12th of July, 14th, so it would have been the 20. First, yeah, it would have been the 28th of July is when I should have got paid. And I didn't get paid. So I went to them and I said, hey, you know, I haven't gotten paid yet. Why haven't I gotten paid? And they said, and something along the lines of, I didn't put my hours in. And I said, okay, well, I went onto the system and I emailed you guys on the day of my shift. Now, here's where it gets really funny. I checked my stuff the night before. The stuff for the, the, the people that put my uh, shifts into the schedule because it's a merchandising company, so it's like it's a national company. It's all over Canada, you know, stuff like that. The people that actually put my uh, put my hours in are in a time zone that is an hour behind me. So you know, as a result of that, when I go to when I leave for work at eight o'clock, they're still they're just getting up for work, you know, and getting ready to go to work, or they're on their way to work, you know, they're not actually at work yet. It's, I checked the night before and my shifts were there when I you know when I went to work. So like all the stores were there that I had to do and you know it showed the dates okay so you have this store these stores do on this day and these stores do on this day well when I did my stores on the 5th I checked on the 4th and they're all there I get home on the 5th and all my stores that are supposed to do on the 5th are gone so I was like I emailed them and mentioned that to them and they're like okay we'll get it fixed for you and they said if we can't what what were your hours what were, what was your mileage that you submitted and what's your mileage and stuff like this so I gave them all that so they even if I couldn't get my hours put in they could still pay me and then, of course, the same thing happened the following week, and they went through the same same sort of shit the previous week. And, you know, I went and I actually gave it all to them. And, you know, that sort of thing. So, you know, it, it really wasn't a big a big deal, because they said, yep, we'll get it fixed, you'll get paid. You know, it is what, it's awesome. It's all well and good. You know, everything's going to be okay. So, you know, I didn't really think anything of it. And then, of course, I worked the 19th, and that would mean I would have gotten paid the first week of August... It has now been almost a month since I... It's been over a month. Actually, yeah. It's been about a month since my last paycheck. Because work has been screwing me out of paychecks. So, you know, like, I, here I am trying to... I'm struggling to pay a student loan payment and, you know, pay my bills and stuff like this. And I and then, of course, my phone goes. Like, everything is not on my side right now. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I am working working through it. Um, You know, I have filed some complaints with the labor board and stuff like this to get every, get all of this resolved. Because, you know... I basically worked the last month for free. If if they don't pay me, I've worked the last month for free, and it's kind of fucking stupid. But, um, you know, it's going to work to get this all resolved and get this dealt with. But anyway, oh, he had a three-piece. Oh, he didn't get kill cam, though. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. One like equals one prayer. One like equals one last day that I have to wait to get my paycheck. Well, anyway, I'll have it soon, guys. I'll keep you guys updated in my next video. But anyway, um, yeah. That's it for this video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you guys turn on that notification. And, yeah. It's me, your boy Corey, or Autobot. And I'm out. Peace.